Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. The past few weeks, there have been a ton of new camera announcements. Canon announced the new R5 and R6, Blackmagic announced the Ursa Mini Pro, and last but not least, Sony announced the new A7S III. In this video, we're gonna focus specifically on the new Sony A7S III. Let's take a look. I'm only gonna be touching on some of my favorite features because there's so many in this new camera. Unfortunately, I don't have the A7S III yet, so I'll be showing example footage from other YouTube creators during this video. You can find all of these creators' channels in the description below, so go check them out. The A7S III sounds like a beast with all these new features that are packed into this thing. First off, the camera offers a 12.1 megapixel full frame BSI CMOS sensor. Since the sensor has a lower pixel count, the individual pixels are actually larger, which greatly increases low light performance. With this extra performance, it will allow a greater looking image with less noise while still retaining great colors and detail. This camera is advertised at 15 stops of dynamic range, and that's a ton. It also has an ISO range of 40 to 409,600. One of the best new features on the A7S III are the new recording options that weren't available in the previous version. On the A7S III, you can now shoot 1080 up to 240 FPS, or you can shoot in 4K up to 120 FPS, and that will be in 10-bit with 422 color depth. For those of you who try to color grade S-Log in 8-bit, you guys know how awesome it's gonna be to have 10-bit on this new camera. And even crazier, you can record 16-bit RAW externally to the Atomos Ninja 5, with a new update that's available for free coming in September along the release with the new camera. Another great upgrade with this camera is the new autofocus. The autofocus now has 759 phase detection points, which covers 92% of the sensor. The speed of the autofocus has also greatly increased due to the hybrid autofocus system. And personally, I really can't wait to see that because my a7 III kinda is a little slow on the autofocus side of things, especially when I'm trying to shoot B-roll. So a lot of times I either have to switch over to manual focus or uh, just move my camera really slow, that way it can hold uh, focus on that you know, product that I'm trying to grab. The A7S III also comes with IBIS just like the A7 III, but with the IBIS, you also have the digital active steady shot. When you use steady shot, it will use it along IBIS and come with an even smoother video, but at a cost. When you're using the active steady shot, there is a small crop, but I think it'll really be worth it. You guys are gonna see that crispy smooth video and you'll just be like, mm. It's gonna be great. And on this camera, we're still gonna have the dual card slots, but with an upgrade. With the dual card slots, you're going to have regular SD slots, but also the CF Express Type A. And those cards are also gonna be released in September at the same time as the camera. Some modes actually require the CF Express because of how much data and read write speed it actually requires. And also with all the shooting modes, you can shoot in all eye, which captures up to 600 megabits of data. So. Definitely look into the CF Express A cards because they're going to be awesome for this camera. Last but not least, this next feature is my favorite by far, the most simple, but the most welcomed, I would say, is definitely that flip out screen. The flip out screen is such an improvement compared to previous generations that only had the pull and uh, basically tilting screens. With the flip out, it's gonna be so much better for vlogging situations or you know, if you have to you know, get a really nice photo and articulate that screen in a certain way, it'll be perfect. I know a few weeks back, I tried to do a vlog and not being able to see my exposure or where I'm focusing on really became a pain. So I'm super excited for that articulating screen because it's be so much of a tool for vloggers. This makes shooting solo videos so much easier because what I'm doing now is using an external monitor, which is great for this case, but when I'm on the go, that external monitor with the lens and the body it gets pretty heavy. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried vlogging with a lot of weight all in one hand, but it's not fun. <laughs> so I am really excited about the new flip out screen. It's gonna make things a lot lighter, lighter, a lot more portable, and it's just gonna be a welcome improvement, I think, from everybody. Like I said, I wasn't able to cover all the features in this video, but I'll leave a link in the description. That way you can take a look for yourself. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna be picking up the Sony a7S III and what your favorite features of this camera are. If you wanna get notified about all my future videos, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you have any specific videos you wanna see on this channel, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys for checking out this video and I'll catch you in the next one.